Which are better, common or rare supply drops, and which one should you be buying? That's the question I want to try to answer in this video. So what I did is, I've recorded every single supply drop I've gotten since launch, and I'm almost third prestige now, but I've opened 20 rare supply drops and 40 common supply drops. Now obviously it'd be nice if I would have opened a ton more, but that's all I have and that's almost three prestiges of supply drops, so I'm going to do my best to give you whatever answers I can based off that information. And one other thing to remember is that it's not fair to compare one rare to one common supply drop because one rare supply drop costs three times as much as a common one in terms of keys, so it's more fair to compare three common supply drops to one rare one. So first we're going to look at the drop rates of the two, and then afterwards we can talk about the salvage. So in the average rare supply drop based on my information, you're going to get 1.5 common items, 1.05 rare items, and approximately 0.4 legendary items or better. In common supply drops, again three common supply drops, on average you're going to get about 7 common items, approximately 1.8 rare items, and approximately 0.2 or 0.3 legendary items or better. So at first, this is actually really surprising. In opening three commons, you're going to get more rares on average than getting rares out of the rare supply drops. And in the rare supply drops, you have slightly higher odds of getting legendary or epic items, but I did some additional testing here. And so in a rare supply drop, you're guaranteed one rare item or better. So what I did is I factored out that rare item or better from each supply drop, and what I found is basically those two other items in the supply drop that are not the guaranteed rare one have the exact same odds as any of the drops you get in a common supply drop. So all you're really paying for in that rare supply drop is that one guaranteed rare item or better. But when you look at the numbers that I just told you, if you open three common supply drops, you're actually going to get more rare items than you do from one rare supply drop, and the odds of you getting a legendary or epic item are only slightly lower than what they are in the rare supply drop. So that's pretty interesting. And now the second category is salvage, and this is where it gets a little bit complicated and tricky. So people like to say that rare supply drops are the way to go because you're going to get that extra salvage bonus that you don't get in common supply drops, and thus for getting salvage, buying rare ones is the best way to go. But that's not necessarily the case. So out of the supply drops I opened, the rare ones, the average bonus I got of salvage was approximately 28. And the average salvage I got from duplicates in these rare supply drops was about 10. So basically, if I open one rare supply drop, I can count on getting about 38 salvage. When we open three common supply drops, what I found is that you don't get that extra bonus, so you don't have to worry about that. But you get approximately 14 salvage from duplicates. So at first, that looks like it's a lot less than the 38 you get from rare. But what I did is I also looked at the first 20 common supply drops I bought, and then the second 20. So from the first 20, I on average got about 3 salvage from duplicates from the supply drops. But then in the second half of those, so the second 20 I bought, I got somewhere between 6 and 7 salvage. And the reason for this is, in common supply drops, you're getting so many more items than you are in opening one rare one. So even though you're getting a lot of common items in the common supply drops, because you get so many and accumulate so many over time, you're going to start getting duplicates more and more often. And if we follow this trend, we can pretty much predict that in the next 20 supply drops, I'm going to average about 9 or 10 salvage from duplicate items. So what does this mean? Well, it means in the future that once I start opening 3 common supply drops, I on average will get around 30 salvage solely from duplicates, which is actually pretty comparable to the bonus and duplicate average of 38 that you get from rare supply drops. And so, just to expand on something I already said, in opening 3 common supply drops, you're just getting way more items than you would in opening one rare one, and you could argue that in the rare ones, like I said before, the odds of getting legendary or epic items are slightly higher. But in opening lots of common supply drops, you'll amass tons and tons of items, and so you'll start getting more and more duplicates. And because you get approximately two rares out of three common supply drops versus one rare out of one rare supply drop, you'll start building up more rares as well as commons. And so you'll start getting more and more duplicates not only of commons, but also of rares. And rare duplicates offer more salvage than common duplicates. Common duplicates only offer 5 salvage, but rare duplicates can offer anywhere up to like 25 or 30. So if you keep on buying common supply drops, you'll start amassing more and more rare items, and thus you'll start getting more and more rare duplicates. And instead of walking away from 3 common supply drops with around 30 salvage from duplicates, you could start walking away from those with maybe 50 or even 60 salvage, because like I said, in opening 3 common supply drops, odds are you're going to get 2 rares 
two rares is approximately 50 salvage in duplicates. So back to the original question, which one should you be buying? And I think it depends on what you're going for. If you're trying to get more legendary or epic items, then you probably would be better off going with rare supply drops, just because they have that one guaranteed rare item or better, and that rare item or better has slightly higher odds of dropping legendary or epic items. But if you want more salvage, I think you should be going for commons. Because once you've bought enough common supply drops, you're going to start getting enough duplicates to the point where you're going to get more salvage on average out of common supply drops than you will out of rare supply drops. And I personally think that you should be going for salvage rather than legendary or epic items. And the reason for this is the main legendary or epic items you want are weapons, or at least that's the way I see it. And in opening rare supply drops, while you might have slightly better odds at getting those weapons out of supply drops, the real way to do it is to do it through salvage because in rare supply drops you might get legendary or epic items but what are the odds that those legendary or epic items are going to be the ones you're looking for like a specific weapon like the nv4 flatline there's tons of other epic weapons in the game and that doesn't even include all the other epic items so i think going for salvage through common supply drops is the best way to get the weapons you're looking for because you're going to get more salvage through the common ones and then you can just buy the one you want rather than relying on random generation to see if you get the flat line out of the supply drop. So to quickly sum it up in a concluding statement, if you're looking for rare items, the best way to do that is common supply drops. If you're looking for a specific legendary or epic weapon variant, the best way to do that is to amass enough salvage through common supply drops and buy it on your own. But if you're looking for legendary or epic vanity items or legendary or epic variants that can only be earned through supply drops, the best way to do that is through rare supply drops themselves. So that's all I wanted to share with you guys today, just some information I had about which supply drops are better based on numbers and based on all the supply drops I've opened so far. Again, it would be nice if I had a much larger sample size to do this with, but that is almost three prestigious worth of supply drops, so there's not much more I can do on that subject. If you guys have any questions about what I just explained, if some of it wasn't clear, please be sure to leave me a comment down below. And if you guys have any more information about the odds or if there's something that I missed, again, let me know in a comment down below. I'd love to hear what you guys have to say about this and if there's any information I missed. So again, I hope you guys enjoyed and learned something about the supply drops and can make more informed decisions about which one to buy. If you guys did enjoy the video, I'd really appreciate it if you could hit that like button for me and subscribe for more Infinite Warfare videos on helping you get better at Call of Duty. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll catch you guys in the next video.